Hi everybody, I'm here with your phonics. So in phonics last week, I taught you guys about open syllables. Open syllables, they end in a vowel. So a closed syllable is a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant, it closes in that vowel. Um, with a closed syllable, the vowel normally makes a short sound, i, a, a, things like that. So with an open syllable, I gave you a word as an example. So I gave you the word protection. I broke it out into the syllables, protection, protection, three syllables. So, um, but with the open syllables, all I want you to focus on is the very first syllable. So there are three syllables in protection, but I only want you to focus on the first syllable as that example. So pro, is the first syllable and it's a consonant, consonant vowel. Um, for whatever reason, I only wrote down one consonant, but that is not true. There are two consonants, consonant, consonant, vowel. A, E, I, O, and U are your vowels. Sometimes W, sometimes Y. Um, but anyway, here's protection. So I always tell you when I'm spelling, I chunk it down and it helps me remember how to spell it. So hopefully that strategy will help you too. With open syllables this week, you have a couple of jobs. Job number one is to compare and contrast Lena's behavior from the beginning of the story with her behavior at the end of the story. So you can use a Venn diagram in your book of knowledge. You can write one out with the beginning, the end, how they're different, and then in the center, how they're alike. Um, you can use the Venn diagram to help you kind of get your brain going and figure it all out, what you want to say. But when you turn in your Google Doc to me, it needs to be in paragraph form. If you want to shoot me a photo of your Venn diagram, awesome. I will love it and maybe post it on our website. Who knows? But um, that's your first job. You also need to make sure that it is name and date. In, um, in the upper right hand corner of your paper. So it looks like this um, name and the date and your title. Title needs to be capitalized and underlined. Then you're going to leave a space here. You're going to jump down and indent, start writing, start writing, start writing. Paragraph, remember, is three to five sentences. If you need a second paragraph, you're going to jump down to the next line, jump over to indent it, and then start writing again. Um, last week, some people turned in some really funky fonts for their typing. When you get a writing assignment from a teacher, it needs to be in normal, boring font, Times New Roman. So, Let's get started with that now. Um, I can assign another assignment where you can use funky, cool fonts if you'd like. But for these writing assignments, they need to be, I know it's boring, but they need to be in Times New Roman. Sorry, guys. So those are your two jobs with phonics. Um, you also can and should go through the story half empty or half full and circle, underline, highlight any open syllable words. So there is one here, behavior. Um, behavior, that first one, B, has that open syllable. The E is saying its name. It is a long vowel sound, behavior. Um, your second job with your sort is to, or excuse me, with your words is to sort. So I want you to sort them. The two categories you're doing are open for syllable, and close, I'm sorry, that was not right. The slam is a little bit off right now. So um, it is open first syllable. And then this one is the opposite, it's an antonym, closed first syllable. So you have open first syllable, closed first syllable, and then you need to sort these words out. Minus, lesson, because, protection, mo motel, future, motivate, decrease, fable, favorable, rabbit, picnic, chimney, zebra, unit. So you're going to sort those. You can do that in your book of knowledge and just have a parent check it. If you'd like your parent um, 
or older brother or sister can take a photo and send it to me so I know it's getting done. Um, we don't want to go into June and I don't want you to have huge gaps when you go to fourth grade. So we need to do our work. If you have any questions, please let me know. But this is your phonics for the week of March 29th. Love you guys.